Let's talk about SVG files and ways to open and convert them. Hey everyone, I'm Dom from Wondershare Unit Converter. When you grab a picture from Google Images, for example, sometimes you can't open them because they're in SVG. The same goes for any other graphics file you might use. SVG stands for Scalable Vector Graphics, and it is used for logos and all sorts of designs mostly because they can be scaled up and down and the quality will stay the same. As you can see on Mac, I can view them with the Quick Preview app or with a web browser like Safari, but can't really do anything else with them. These files aren't compatible with video editors, for example, either. And if you want to upload them to the web, you'll also face problems. Now, in these cases, you'll have to convert these files in a more versatile format like JPG or PNG. If you use software like Adobe Illustrator or Photoshop, they can handle these files really well. Just simply import your file into Photoshop, then if you don't need to edit them, scale them, whatever, go to the Files menu, then to Export As, and then here select the JPEG or PNG. If it's an image that is supposed to have a transparent background, choose PNG, as it can handle transparent backgrounds, JPG can't. Now, another method that might be an easier and more accessible option for you is the Uniconverter, which is a multimedia toolbox with a powerful image converter as well that supports all sorts of image formats, including SVG. If you don't have the tool yet, grab it from videoconverter.wondershare.com. After opening it up, you'll find the image converter tool right on the home page. You can import multiple files here at the same time, which will make this process much faster. Down here, select a universal output format. Now, again, if you have files that are supposed to have transparent backgrounds, select PNG for them instead of JPEG, otherwise JPEG is the most convenient choice. By clicking on the settings icon, you can change attributes like resolution and quality, but note that by converting an SVG file to a non-vector image format, it will lose its ability to be limitlessly scalable. As an extra feature, here you can crop your image and add effects to them if you need to. Okay, now let's click on Start All. And you'll have your converted SVG files within seconds. And that is it. Hope this video was helpful and if so, leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching, I'll catch you in the next video.